Hey, Iman here at White Lance. I'm going to take you through the styling page of your admin dashboard here on the left hand side. You'll see there's some pretty self evident items like your logo, the favicon, which appears in the uh, tab here, and there are some background images for the login page and for the register page. Um, again, that's pretty self evident. You'll be able to see that here on your login page, for example. And on the register page and then we've got the logo height again it's you can change how big you want this to display in the header and in the footer and then you've got margins and margins are basically there are margins between the elements within a block so between these two lines for example is this element margin. And then there's a, a block margin, which is between the elements and the outside padding. So this isn't a great example, but let me show you another one. So here, for example, you can see the distance between these items is a, is one amount. The distance to the outside is a separate amount, and that's what's managed by these margin sections here. Then you've got fonts, so you can either upload a local font and using this upload button here from your laptop, or you can add a web font, and then you have to copy and paste in the link to that font. So, for example, if you're using Google Fonts, you can pick any font you like and then go and find uh, add it add as many of the different types as you like and then download that click download or no, not download sorry um, uh, where is it view selected families that's it this one here and then you can see the link and the link that you're looking for is this link here. That's the URL to that font. So you can copy and paste it into here. And then you can assign very, those different, the names of these fonts. So for example, this is the name is Poppins here. And this name with an uploaded font is Avenir Black. And you can add it to one of six fonts that we're using. Mostly we just use one font, which is font three, and you can have a look at a font by inspecting that particular item, uh, looking at the CSS to find um, the font name. So let's have a look and try and find the font name. So here, this, this one is font three, for example. Now, then you've got your buttons. So all of this here is the styling for your primary button when it's, so let me take a step back. You've got three types of buttons. You've got a primary button, which is used in most of the places. Um, then you've got like a cancel button. So it's like, um, where is it a good example here? Ah, probably here, there might be a cancel button. Yeah, so this is like a cancel button here, which is I'm I'm doing something, but I want to cancel the work that I've been doing. And then there's a delete button, which, for example, it, there are several places where the delete button might be necessary for customers. It's like ending a contract to freelancers, it might be deleting a profile item, for example. And each of those three types of buttons, so primary button, cancel button, and delete button, they each have three different states. So the default state is just what it appears like now, the display state. Then there's the hover over, then there's the click, so the active state. And each of those um, states can be managed in your admin dashboard. So here is the primary button, like default state. 
then it's the th same thing for the hover state and the state and then it, and then the same one for the active state and that's the case with the the primary button what we call the light button or the cancel button and then there's the delete button so there's nine different states that you've got here three states for each of the three types of buttons and you can change pretty much every css element that you like the size of the fonts the weight of the fonts um the, its style uh it's the color of the text the, the background color the border uh pixels the shadow of the border the padding the text decoration and the border radius so there's quite a lot of customization options there you can also change a lot of the css for various different ui elements that we have so for example the drop like a drop down we can look at a standard drop down um let's go back to profile so here's like a text input for example you can see there's a hover over and then there's the click when it's activated so there's a text input here somewhere input styling you see hover and then the color and then when it's active it goes black from gray so here it's gray and then when you hover it goes green and when you click on it it goes black that's what we're seeing here the input styling default and then if you hover the border goes green and if you click on it the text goes from gray to black uh, there's a number of different inputs that are available here for example a, in, inputting a paragraph and then you've got the header and the footer so here in the header you've got you know the different options like different hover over colors and then in the footer you've got like the background color the text color and the, the link color as well and then you've got every other color we're using across the whole platform and you need to go and find the, the specific color that a specific variable is using so um here let's just click on this one so here the color is color one that's being used for these headers so then you'd go and find color one and then you can make you can change then that color either using rgb code or a hex code or pick a color okay let's keep going down so here um there is the transparency setting for your this box here it appears on top of the background image so if you set that transparency to be lower sorry this is a i think this is a higher transparency so it'll be very transparent there we go that's very transparent if you increase it it'll be less transparent there there we go slightly less transparent and then if you go all the way to the end then it's not really transparent at all Okay, so a few things left. One is what is the default location of your map, which is used across the site in various different ways. And what are your social links in your footer? Yeah, you can set the links there. That's it, that's your styling page. Enjoy.